Falcon match number 27. Uh, in this matchup, we'll be p pitting uh, DW's team, Underground Book Storage, versus uh, the remaining winner, uh, Mudvayne's Caster Chicks. For DW's team, we have Poetry Book, The Mediator, Physics Book, The Monk, Geography Book, The Scholar, and Medical Book, The Oracle. This is basically a team using all uh, book weapons. And for this Mediator, her skill set contains Blackmail, Refute, Mimic Derivan, Marasami, Kiyomori, Masamun. Um, with unyielding a move HP up, she's meant to be a tanking, uh, annoying mediator, meant to disable the enemy. Saint Alpha protect against some elementals to absorb it, and Thief Hat for speed, Magic Ring for 1 MA and status protection. Okay. And she's got decent speed with the thanks to the Thief app. For the Monk, he's got pretty decent PA with 16. And his skill set contains uh, speed, Spin Fist, Repeating Fist, Wave Fist, Stigma Magic, Revive, Hakuten, and Kagasogi. Um, I believe he's got enough JP left for either Damage Split or Chakra. Or since the Another option since the monster dick is already three range, you could remove the wave fist and maybe get HP restore. Just a uh, uh, thought on this unit. But otherwise, it's pretty decent. Got Warpath to continue to get the brave. Kagasogi there that can do some decent damage and uh, and flick status. And focus band gives him quite a bit of MP, and he shouldn't have to worry about that for a while. And then for the Scour, her skills uh, consist of Bio 2, Bio 3, Tornado, Quake, then all the Elementals. She should be doing pretty good damage uh, with either Elemental or those skills. Because she's got decent MA and that magic attack up. And Necrominion uh, inflicts Undead. Has a chance for that. Probably mostly going to go for spells and Elementals though for her. And for this uh, oracle, her skills are Zombie, Paralyze, Sleep, Cure 2, Raise 2, Asuna. Um, she's meant mainly to be support and help with disabling the enemy. Um, her and the Meteor have the Madamogen, which uh, can inflict stop. Um, she's uh, also got Defense Ring for status protection. And Black Hood to give her HP. So she should be able to... To survive for a bit and then I'll just briefly go over uh, uh, Mudvayne's team since he's got quite a streak going on here in the uh, Battle Royal FFT arena he we have badass chick the geomancer hot chick the squire mean chick the scholar and fat friend the squire okay let's get started in the first round we'll be going to uh, uh, map number 76, which is uh, Quest Desert. It should take a few rounds for them to get uh, in touch with one, one another to uh, engage. So we should be, they should all be pretty well hasted by the time they reach each other. Hasting. We'll see if uh, uh, DW is able to put an end to Mudvayne's uh, winning streak that, he's got, that he has going on here. Looks like that Geomancer's going for probably Odin or maybe Shiva or, or Rama Ifrit. Sleep fails. She's going for Odin. Takes out the uh, Scholar. Doesn't even need a dead prop for that. Okay, there's Focus. Here comes Shiva for anti sandbag. 
doing some damage to the monk. Refute fails. So it looks like Mudvayne's in pretty good control for the first round. Sleep hits one unit. Will that be enough to allow DW to make a comeback in this round? We'll see. Scholar is up. Here comes Odin. That takes out the mediator. Shiva, that's probably going to lay out the Scholar. DW is down to one unit. Okay, Geomancer is probably going to go for Odin, I, would, I think. Oracle's down, so I believe there's no more revival on DW's side. So Mudvayne should be closing out the round here pretty soon. And there's the first round. See you guys in round number two. Okay, round two is about to go underway. Mudvayne was able to take the first round. Uh, for this map, we'll be going to uh, map number 86, Douglas Pass. Or Douglas Pass. We'll see if DW can uh, make a comeback here. It's raining. Those rocks are going to get slippery. They should be get get right into action right off the bat. There's the Hakutan, that's pretty good damage. Um probably more Odin. If it doesn't get stopped with the status. Uh, I'm not sure what the other square is casting. There's a don't act to prevent the Odin from going off. Squire goes down. Yeah, mi uh, monk missed. Squire's back up, thanks to re-raise. Seems to be a better start for DW. I think it would have been better if DW stayed on the offensive there. Both squires are down, so it's a four on two. Plus one of the squires uh, had an undead uh, proc. Monk is going to do a Hakuten. Does. Oh, we uh, got a redirect, taking out our own unit. That was a smart move by the monk. And it looks like DW should have a solid... Uh, should have round two wrapped up here. And that's it for round two. So we'll go to the tiebreaker round. Okay guys, welcome to the tiebreaking round between DW's team uh, underground book storage against Mudvayne's caster checks. And for the tiebreaker, we're going to map number five, roof of Rivian's castle. We'll 
see if DW can knock uh, Mudvayne's caster chicks off in the mountain. Or out of the Bad Royal. And it's raining again. Must be the wet season in Ivalis at the moment. Uh, lots of casting going on. We got one frog. And one sleeping. Scour goes down. Monk goes down. Um, statuses are getting flicked through the left and right here. Uh, mediator goes down. Uh, looks like Mudvayne's in pretty good control. And that's it. GG. Mudvayne continues his streak. Sorry, DW. See you guys in the next matchup.